force. We have seen that part of physics is a study of motion, including accelerations, which are changes in velocities. But which does cause all of this? The answer is force. The word force crops up very often in everyday usage, but what is a force has little meaning in physics. To a physicist, a force is recognized by the effect or effects that it produces. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and activate the notifications. It is very important to the continuity of this channel. Force is the action, push or pull, of one body on a second body. This action is something that can cause an object to deform, change its shape, or change its velocity. Petition. Since a force can produce an acceleration, it is clearly a vector quantity, and when we know what forces are acting on an object, we can predict how it will move. So, it is important to be able to identify the forces which act on an object. We will see some important forces, how they arise and how we represent them in diagrams. Weight the weight of our body is the force of gravity that the Earth exerts on a body. The Earth pulls on all objects with the force of gravity downward toward the center of the Earth. Then the weight of an object is always directed vertically downward. Pay attention to how we should draw the vector that represents the weight in each of the falling bodies. The weight of a body is the force of gravity on it. Its magnitude is found multiplying the mass of the body by the acceleration of gravity. In symbols, we can write as follows. The unit of force is the Newton. Contact force, the normal force. When a body touches another body, arises a force of contact between the two bodies. The contact force is known as the normal force. The normal force is the force that surface exerts to prevent solid objects from passing through each other. This force is perpendicular to the surface of the body exerting the force. In figure below, look at how the normal force acts on the box. Note the normal force arises only when there is contact. Drag air resistance. Drag forces are forces that oppose the motion of a body through a fluid, a gas or a liquid. Typical examples are the air resistance force experienced by a car or plane. Drag forces are directed opposite to the velocity of the body and in general depend on the speed and shape of the body. Tension. This is the force in a rope or cable when it is stretched. A tension force in a string is created when two forces are applied in opposite directions at the ends of the string. Pay attention. It's important to note here that tension is a pulling force since rope simply cannot push. So, when it comes time to draw the forces acting on an object, you should remember that tension can only pull on an object.
Friction Frictional forces arise when two surfaces rub over one another or trying to move. If an object is sliding along the ground, friction acts in the opposite direction to its motion. Look at the figure. The block is at rest and there is no attempt at sliding. Thus, no friction and no motion. When a gradually increasing force P is applied to the block, the block does not move at first. This is because an equally increasing but opposing frictional force F acts where the block and the table touch. The force P tries to make the block slide, but it's balanced by the frictional force F. At any instant, P and F are equal and opposite. Finally, when the applied force P has overwhelmed the frictional force, the block slides and starts its movement. In the next figure, the weight is pulling down the block, but the friction acts in the opposite, and the block remains at rest.